Hello, it's Vivi Cameron here and today I'm going to show you a couple of things I have made using Children 3 by Stampin' Up and how I have made this slide box. Please visit my blog to find additional information about any of the projects I'm showing in this video. There is a link to download the pattern for free and you can also find a list of materials. To make this little coin purse, I only used three stamps in the set and I wanted to make a different one and this was the result, completely different with the same stamp set. Well, to make the slide box in which I'm going to package this purse, I used two pieces of craft cardstock and one piece of designer series paper. I have used my die cutting machine and with a circular die I just cut this window uh, so I can see the product inside the box. I also have cut an additional circle from craft cardstock and I'm going to use it to complete the band which is wrapped around the box. I'm going to start with the piece of craft cardstock that measures 17 by 18 centimeters and I'm going to score at one and a half centimeters on the larger side of the paper which is the side that measures 18 centimeters. I hope you understand me. It's kind of difficult for me to explain because I'm a Spanish speaker and my English is terrible so I'm so sorry. I really hope the video and the image help me to tell you what you have to do exactly. And when you finish scoring with your Stampin' Up! trimmer or with a scoring board, all you have to do is fold in the paper, just like I'm doing here, and we are done with this part. This is all we have to do with this part. It's very, very easy. This box measures 17 by 15 centimeters. And the good news is with the next part or the next piece of paper, you don't have to do anything. You just leave it like that. So the next thing we have to do is grab the piece that measures 19 by 15 centimeters and score at 1 centimeter in the edges of the larger side, which is the side that measures 19 centimeters. The Stampin' Up! trimmer is very, very easy to use. It cut paper perfectly and also helps you to score the paper. Just like I'm showing here, you just need to place the paper in that centimeter there and with the scoring tool, you just score the paper. And all you have to do after is just fold the paper. You can use your hands or you can also use a scoring tool. I'm using my hands, it's not necessary to use the scoring tool. And I also use this little sweetheart from the ETBT Essence punch pack. To add some embellishments, I also use a Princeton in the middle of the heart and I paste them with the dimensionals. And now um, I'm going to finish this part and I'm going to use a double-sided tape to paste these pieces together, just like I'm doing here. This is a quick project. Uh, I'm just taking extra time to explain with details and to show you slowly how how to do it but when you are working at a normal speed and you have to cut a lot of different pieces you you could you cut them all all together and you score them all together and then you paste them at the same time so that increases the speed in which you are working so it's not complicated when you need to make hundreds of them so it's kind of easy it's an easy box to make and when you are making quantities it's very regarding because they will look very very nice and well done so this little box uh, is great for packaging any products and when you want to embellish you can embellish in different ways I I have created these bands and I'm so sorry because in some point I just placed the the circle die cut in the center of the window but it's right behind the band you will be able to see it in the next second 
and here we go this is the die cut I showed at the beginning of the video I have made from craft cardstock and it's to hide completely what is behind that window this box will look completely different according the decoration and the embellishments you use I can imagine a wooden paper uh, in everything in white in gold with flowers that will look stunning in this opportunity I wanted to make something feminine and happy something to make a smile uh, a lovely girl I'm going to send this little present and I have created this band which is four centimeters width I have used confetti celebration design a series paper and strawberry slush cardstock I also use a piece of whisper white cardstock and I stamp it with the hardwood stamp background in silver slate and all the pieces came together to finish the band. It's time to put the product inside the box and see how it looks. And here we go. When I was cutting this circle here, this shape, I calculated the place in which my stamped image will show when the box is finished and then I cut the paper it wasn't so difficult to do I just placed the product on top of the of the piece of paper and I just determined which place will be the ideal to make that cut these are my two boxes for today I have some other projects at the end of the video so stay here and another thing I want to show you, just to show you that you can do it, is another idea, is you can trim these corners with a corner cutter, just like that, and you will have a different finish. So, it's another extra thing you can do, it's completely up to you also. I like it this way because the shape of the box is kind of round in the top, so that will make more even the project. And I can say, now I can say, I'm done. And as always, I really enjoy making this project. It's a kind of surprise box because you don't know what is inside until you take it out. And well, that's cute. I thought it was a nice touch, uh, a little bit of paper craft for someone special. As I promised, I'm showing you extra projects made with Children Tree today. These are my two sewing projects today. Yes, you already saw them. And now I'm going to show you three extra projects I have made with Children Tree Stamp Set by Stampin' Up. This is a birthday card. It's kind of a birthday card for a boy. I think it's cute. I just used two different kinds of inks. And all the information about these projects are in my blog. So please visit my blog to see the colors and how I made them. I also found very easy to mix the image from Children Tree a stamp set with another stamp set and you will have completely different cards this is another all occasion card and to finish I have a Christmas card you will think that it's too early to think about Christmas but I got this stamp set endless wishes in a crazy price in the clearance rack this week so maybe it's a good idea to have a look at the clearance rack and that's everything for today thank you very much for watching and happy crafting bye